Hi, it's Hannah Jo and today we are going to be reviewing Beauty Blender's new primers. I cannot wait for you to see this review. If you want to see how well they performed on my face, then just keep on watching. So today, as you know, we're trying out the new Beauty Blender primers. So we have the Opal Essence, the Leveler in Tan Deep, the Leveler in Light Medium and the Selfie Shield. So all four of these primers come in these cute little boxes that are kind of holographic. Um, it's quite hard to pick up on camera because the lights are so bright, but they're a really, really nice packaging and they all come with like an information leaflet inside, but it's primer, how hard can it be? So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do four parts of my face with the four different primers. This side of my face has texture and spots, so I'm gonna use both the levelers on this side, and I'm gonna use the opal essence on my forehead, and then the selfie shield on this bottom part of my face. So these are what the actual components look like. They look like little foundation bottles, they're really, really cute, quite small. In here you get one fluid ounce, so 30 mils, and they retail for 28. 50, which is quite expensive for a primer, but I'm gonna hold all judgment aside until we've actually found out how the primer actually works, how good it is, if it is worth the money. So I'm just gonna moisturize my face like I normally would. So this is no different to what I would do any other day when I'm gonna put primer on. So I'm just gonna show you guys what the actual consistency of these products are. So I'm just gonna swatch them so you can see each product separately. So here we have Opal Essence. And this one has a kind of sheen to it that will add like a radiance to the skin. Next up we have Selfie Shield and this is a dry oil. So as you can see, like it's more of an oily consistency and it definitely has that really silky smooth feel to it rather than a thick gel. Then we have the Leveler in Light Medium and this has a slight colour to it. As you can see, not much of a colour, but a slight colour, and this has more of a moussey texture to it. And we have the Leveler in Tan Deep, and this is definitely much more of a darker colour. As you can see, as you smooth it out, it shears out, but it definitely has more colour than the other one. What I'm gonna do is use all four primers on all four parts of my face, just to see the texture, how well foundation applies on top. I know that I'm not a tan, deep skin tone, but I just wanna see the actual color against my skin tone. Now, it says to apply with a damp beauty blender or fingers. Dab over clean skin before makeup or wear alone. So I prefer to apply my primer with my fingers because I can definitely feel exactly where the product's going rather than it soaking into the beauty sponge. That's just my preference. So I'm gonna use my fingers all four parts of my face and then do my makeup how I normally would. So Opal Essence I'm gonna use on this side of my face in this top half here. So I'm gonna take some of that product, just a small amount and just dab in that area. It's already kind of giving like a nice glow to the skin. I quite like that in a primer because I feel like I like that dewy look rather than a matte look. And if I do want my makeup more matte, then I can go over with a mattifying powder. Already I can feel like it's kind of settling into the skin. It has a really nice, soft, smooth texture to it. It's not too greasy, it's not too dry, it just feels kind of nice and moisturizing. The Opal Essence is meant to capture that golden hour glow with this transformative serum which delivers the perfect dose of dewiness, skin never looks so dull or too greasy. Botanical extracts help brighten and illuminate so makeup both looks and lasts better. Next up is the Selfie Shield and this one I'm really interested in trying because this is a dry oil primer and has an SPF of 38. And this primer is an SPF that actually works with makeup apparently. Moisturise and prime skin while getting multi-spectrum protection from UVA, UVB and HEV which is electronic light with this quick absorbing invisible dry oil with no greasiness or chalky cast Ever. So what I'm gonna do is pop this one on this part of my face and it's very oily It doesn't feel like a traditional primer Which I don't mind because I do like putting oils on my face underneath makeup anyway, so that's not 
a problem for me. It has a slight SPF smell, which again, I don't actually mind. And it's kind of more leaning on the citrusy side rather than SPF, so that I don't mind. And that has kind of instantly just absorbed into the skin, feels really silky smooth. Next up, we have the Leveler in Light Medium. And this is instantly smooth, large pores, fine lines, and uneven texture with this featherweight mattifying primer. High performance silicones create a velvety canvas and a humidity proof barrier to lock makeup in place so your look lasts. What more could you ask for? Okay, I'm gonna use the light one on the bottom half of my face and the darker one on the top half of my face because I like to bronze up my forehead and around here more so than the bottom half of my face. I'm gonna take some of the light one, just a little bit on there and I'm just gonna rub that into the skin instantly i can feel that this one is definitely thicker than the other two it has a more moussey kind of texture it's a bit kind of more difficult to kind of push into the skin if that makes sense but i would expect that from a pore filling primer because obviously it needs to be thicker to fill in those pores and cover up any texture or smooth out any texture it doesn't to me look like it has much of a color but it'll be interesting to see if the dark one does on me because obviously I am quite fair and I would consider myself on the light side rather than medium. And the next one is the Leveler in Tan Deep. And this one again is this, has the same properties as the other one but it's just a deeper colour. Meant to minimise pores, cover up all our sins. This one as you can see has a lot more of a colour to it. But as I'm blending it out I do feel like that is kind of buffing into the skin. Like I don't really feel like the colour is really indicative of the product. Like you wouldn't know that I have four different products on my face. Do you like the texture of this primer? It doesn't feel heavy at all. It doesn't really feel like I've got anything on my face. My favourite one so far, I think that I've the texture of that I've liked is the Opal Essence one because it does feel really, really silky smooth. For me, this is the kind of primer that I like. Soft, smooth, moisturising, doesn't feel greasy, doesn't feel heavy and it's just really really silky nice this one would be perfect for the summer to put underneath your makeup how well foundation would last up on top of a dry oil in the summer i don't know and these ones are more puffy more kind of like how i would describe like the professional primer that kind of like puffy texture but i'm not mad at it so once they're all pushed into the skin like i've just gone over and just dabbed I'm going to pop some foundation on. Now I'm just going to take a foundation that I wear on a kind of everyday basis and a light coverage and that is the Makeup Revolution Pro Foundation Drops and these are in the shade F2 which is quite light for my skin at the moment um, but I don't mind because I like to bronze up afterwards so it's not an issue. I'm just going to do a drop, a drop, a drop, a drop and then I've got foundation on all four squares of my face and I can buff it in. Take my beauty sponge and I'm just going to dab that foundation over the top of the primer. Now I've started with the tan deep side. Definitely pores appear reduced on my forehead. Then I'm moving down to where the light medium was. I definitely feel like especially where this acne was it has created a smoother base for the foundation. Um, obviously it's not gonna work miracles, like it's not gonna fill in massive, massive pores. It's not gonna cover up your acne, but it does help create that nice flawless base for your foundation. And especially on my chin, I feel like it's kind of blurred these pores around here and around the edge of my nose. Next up, we're going on to the dry oil side. Now, as I suspected, I thought that this kind of dry oil side would kind of not let my foundation kind of push into the skin as much. And I do feel like that's happening. Like as I'm buffing into the skin, it's like I can see bits of foundation kind of pulling away from my skin. And that is something that I look for in a primer. If it starts to kind of like, doesn't quite want to work with it, it's just, doesn't want to mesh with the foundation. I think on its own, a selfie shield would be beautiful for the summer. I'd like to add a nice glow to the face and to protect you from the sun. Um, but with the foundation on top, I don't know. And then onto the opal essence. Now for me, this is my kind of like ideal primer. Like you can see the glow still kind of showing through the foundation and that is what I love. It's not making me look too greasy. It's just kind of adding like a nice 
natural sheen to the skin and that is what I look for. The pores are definitely reduced over this area, which is a problem area that I have. And over my nose, the foundation is sitting nicely on my nose. So I've just done a light layer of foundation because I don't wanna to add too much foundation over the top, what I wouldn't normally do on a day-to-day -day basis because this kind of primer is like what you wanna put underneath your makeup to make it look better. For me, so far, the Opal Essence is definitely my favorite. The Oil Shield, I'm not completely sold on. Maybe it would work better with a different foundation. Obviously everyone's skin type's different. The levelers, they definitely do fill in pores and make the skin feel a lot smoother and a lot better for your foundation to grasp onto. And I do really, really like that. But for me, I like more of a glowy, healthy looking primer rather than a mattifying, pore filling, smoothing, puffy primer. So I'm just going to pop on some powder like I normally would. This is not a full coverage foundation so I'm not expecting it to cover this um, acne area here. On a day-to-day -day basis I don't really care. Spots are going to show through. It's not a problem for me. I'm too old for that. I'm just going to pop on some normal face products that I'll use on a day-to-day. -day. So bronzer, blusher, highlight and I'll be right back. So literally all I've done is put on bronzer, blusher, highlight, a bit of mascara and just a little bit of lip balm and I'm actually really impressed with these primers. Are they worth 28 50 mm, I think so. Because you can never beat a good base. You just can't, you just can't beat a good base. I'm actually really loving the kind of filling qualities of the levelers. I do feel like they've smoothed out my skin, especially over this nose area. I feel like my nose normally is a problem area for me. My foundation always falls off my nose and I always have to put foundation powder, foundation powder and kind of finesse it. But I feel like this primer has really smoothed out my nose and just my foundation has just kind of stuck to it. My favorite still is the Opal Essence. I do love the glow that it's giving me, the smoothness of the skin I'm absolutely loving. The oil one, I can still kind of feel the oiliness through it and I'm not over keen on that feeling. But if you have dry skin, I feel like this primer would be absolutely perfect for you. I feel like the levelers are kind of perfect if you have uneven skin. The Opal Essence I feel like would be perfect for all skin types. I feel like the Selfie Shield would be perfect for drier skin types. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if that's what you wanna do. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, link down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Love you.